23 pounds, three less than they'll carry in the Kentucky Derby. In contention is in. Six of them ready to go. Fast track. No, 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 no. And they're off. And unbridled song pops away quickly. Romano Gucci along the inside to challenge early. Those two hook up as they head to the clubhouse turn. And with Julie Crone aboard, Romano Gucci, a bit wide there at the first turn, has the lead and is in front by one length. Smith on the outside with unbridled song inches up a closer second. Then it's a gap of three back to Harrowman in the green and white colors in third position. On the outside, Featherbox gains in fourth. At the rail, Secreto de Estado is next. And at the back of the pack, in contention. It's about eight lengths from front to back as they move down the back stretch first quarter in 23 and two. And the battle still continues on the front end. Romano Gucci on the inside leads it by a head. An unbridled song on the outside is second, but they're not going that fast. The half was in 47 and one. But those two have now drawn away from the other four in the contest. There's a gap of six lengths. Make it seven lengths back to Harrowman, who's racing third. But now unbridled song on the outside takes command. Romano Gucci on the inside is second right there. Six lengths farther back, Harrowman. Then comes Featherbox in contention. Secreto de Estado is the trailer. As they move to the top of the stretch, it's an easy lead that Mike Smith has with unbridled song, getting three quarters of a mile in an easy 1, 11, and 1. Straightening away in the stretch, unbridled song in front by two lengths. On the outside, Romano Gucci from the back of the pack in contention, and that's where any competition for the horse on the front and bridled song is going to come from. And down the stretch they come in the wood. Unbridled song now being roused. In front by two, in contention on the outside, second best today. Unbridled Song wins the wood at one to five and goes to Kentucky as a heavy favorite in this year's run for the Roses. There's Jim Ryerson, there's Unbridled Song, your Kentucky Derby favorite. Jim? No question about it, Jim Ryerson, a much more relaxed man at this moment, I think, than he was before the race. He seemed a little tense, actually, at that time. Well, there he is, Charlie, favorite for the Derby. And, Jim, that was just the easiest sort of victory. Not only did he win in hand with just a little bit of a rouse from in contention at the end, but he did it so fluidly and smoothly. I swear you could take a cup of coffee and balance on Mike Smith's back. This horse covers the ground so effortlessly. When he gets to Kentucky, of course, he'll be having to conquer a long-standing jinx. No favorite has won the Kentucky Derby since spectacular bid in 1979, 17 years ago. But uh, there he is, and uh, he's going to be a very solid favorite when he gets there. But now, Skip Away will be the talked-about horse also for the next couple of weeks, having won the Wood Memorial, having won the Bluegrass today. All right, let's take a look at him as he comes down the stretch, and let's... Well, at this point, he's put away Romano Gucci, and he's sort of coasting along on a very easy lead. In contention, will be mounting a run here, but Mike Smith looks back and says, oh, fellow, we're not quite through yet, and kind of gets him going again. The question is, we needed what he needed to do here was get enough out of this race without taking too much out of him. He almost phoned this one in, Jim. Okay. A bridal song... The unofficial winner still, remember, of the Wood of Memorial. We'll be back. There's your winner of the Wood Memorial, and it is official now. Unbridled song written by Mike Smith for Mike, his third win in the Wood Memorial. There are the prices. Not much. 240, 220, and 210. In contention, finishing second, 310 and 210. Romano Gucci, the third place horse, paying 210. Mike Jim McKay, okay? Okay. Now again, up to Dave Johnson. Let's take a look at this horse as he glides to the front. And watch, he doesn't have any extra motion. He's not uh, throwing his legs all over the place. He keeps just his hoops just a little bit off the ground. And when Mike Smith asks for the acceleration, in true professional racehorse style, unbridled song leaves Romano Gucci. At that point, the favorite was probably getting a little bored. And at that point, Mike Smith roused him and from the back of the pack, sixth as they turn for home, here comes in contention with Tony Black eating up the ground. But by this time, Unbridled Song was in gear again. And although the time was slow, the way that this horse does it is very, very impressive. Trained by Jim Ryerson. Let's see what his reaction was to the victory. Jim. 
Well, Jim Ryerson's been standing here watching his own reaction after the race. <laughs> did, you know, did you know that you were that excited? I was, uh, I, I didn't uh, jump on Buzz like uh, the other week. Uh, I was just a little concerned in the lane when the horses run, started running at him, but he, you know, it looked like he was real relaxed today and he just kind of, you know, went through, you know, got the job done and, and uh, that's good. I mean, it, that he can do that too. And uh, hopefully he'll come off of this and prove and because he's, you know, and, yeah. and run his race in the dirt. Okay. Ernie Paragallo, congratulations to you, the owner of Unbridled Song. You've had a lot of horses, but you've got the favorite for the Kentucky Derby. Has that sunk in? Yeah, it's sunk in. I realized that for a while. I mean, we got exactly what we wanted out of this race. We wanted him to be 85%, and I think that's what he ran, about 85%. Okay, let's, nice and easy. let's ask Mike Smith. Is that what he was, about 85% of what he can run? <laughs> time is not fast at all, 149 and 4. No, what a fast time, but, but Jim's done a great job of getting this, letting this horse just get fit off of his races. Every race has, has been a step forward, and, and that's what we're doing here today. Uh, he fell asleep with me a little bit when I left uh, Romano Gucci there around the turn, and I didn't I didn't call on him until I had to late in, in the race, and, and he went ahead and jumped back in the bridle, so that was fine. I let him gallop out good. He come back great, and hope we're heading for Kentucky. Just got to hope, good Lord's willing, we'll hopefully do it all over again. You may have forgotten, but we had a mic on you during the race, and here's what you had to say after the race. <laughs> I hope it will. I wouldn't. Great. No, it's just I said fine. when I made the lead, he kind of got a little bored, you know, man. He got to waiting and waiting, and I was like, I hear somebody coming. We better pick it up. <laughs> hey, gracias, Bob. What'd you say? I hear you somebody coming. I better pick it up. Okay. Yeah. I said, oh, well, he's, like I, I said, he sold so much out of the bridle, and I went ahead and took a look back, and uh, good thing they were, they, were, they were starting to make a little run at him, and as soon as I shook him up, a bit he jumped back into it, and everything was fine. Okay, let's take a look at the final order of finish. It was no competition in the end. And here it is, Unbridled Song, followed by In Contention, Romano Gucci, Secreto de Estado, Featherbox, and Harrow Man. Again, the winner, Unbridled Song, on his way to Churchill Downs and the Kentucky Derby. And we'll be there, too. This is Jimmy Kay saying so long.